taking a live look from our DOT camera at I-95 near the MLK Parkway. You might be able to see some drivers there in the left lane. Well, last night we told you about a proposed Florida bill that would ban the practice with some exceptions. Many News for Jack's insiders have been commenting about this story on our website. So today, News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock hit the road to speak with drivers. Right now we are in the middle lane, but we're about to get into the left lane to overtake a car that is driving in front of us. People I spoke with tell me when they see people get into this lane, they don't often see them leave, and they think that's something this new proposal will help change. There was a truck, like a delivery truck, uh, and had a lot of stuff, and he was doing basically 60 miles an hour, and it was really slowing down. He was impacting the flow of traffic. Walter Jones is describing his frustrations with people who drive in the left lane consistently instead of using it as a lane to overtake. You shouldn't be camping out in the left lane. But for people like him, there could be hope. And it's in the form of a proposal, House Bill 317. It's a bill that aims to prohibit drivers from driving in the left-hand lane on an interstate or roadway with two or more lanes that has a speed limit of at least 65 miles per hour. However, there are exceptions. You can use the left-hand lane to overtake or pass another vehicle, to exit the road, street, or highway, or if you're directed to use it by law enforcement. And this rule wouldn't apply to authorized emergency use vehicles or vehicles engaged in highway maintenance or construction. When you hear about something like that, what do you think? Uh, absolutely, I support it 100%. I wouldn't think that's a bad idea. News for Jax didn't speak to anyone in person who was opposed to this proposal, but some of our insiders are. Like Takiya Williams, who says passing this bill will increase reckless slash erratic driving calls due to frequent lane changes to go around slower vehicles. I'll pass. Or this person who says they need to concentrate on laws and programs that help people, but this is not it. And if passed, drivers could receive fines of up to $158. That's something people in favor of the bill have mixed emotions on. 150 is kind of crazy. But Everything is expensive right now. I mean, that's appropriate. He says appropriate if it means less congestion driving in the left-hand lane. Clay Maycock, Channel 4, the local station. We will keep you updated on the status of this proposal.